Hey guys, so BB-8 print project update for you and I'm recording this on my mobile because we need to go somewhere else in the house in a minute. Um, but like I said, I'm going to be doing these vlog style um, unless it's like a major update. So, here we go. Um, it's been a couple of weeks since uh, I did my intro to the whole project and you may notice just behind me here that uh, the printer's not there anymore. It's actually moved and uh, the reason for that is because um, some of the files that I've got to print for BB-8 are big and they take hours. I'm talking like anywhere between 15 and 24 hours. Uh, so that's going to be a bit of an issue because I need to use my office for doing my regular um, video, in, like when I'm doing reviews and all that sort of stuff or I'm doing a gaming video or whatever, then I need to be in here and I can't have the printer making all its noise in the background of all my videos. So what I decided to do is make use of a space under my stairs, um, which I'm now going to name the print den. <laughs> so these tables here, I got a whole bunch from ages ago um, from Ikea. They're like 10, 15 quid each. So, you know, I bought uh, five of them, but one of them I don't use anymore. It didn't have legs either. So I decided to repurpose that table as, um, well, I'll show you in a minute. But before we go and have a look at the print den, I want to show you um, what I've been doing with the Patreon money. So uh, I'm using Patreon to help fund some of the stuff. I mentioned it in the previous video. Um, and I just want to show you some parts that I've printed. So these, this is the BB-8 eye. So if you have a look here, this is like um, one of the eyes of BB-8. And this part has turned out really nicely. Check that out. So it's turned out really well. Um, I'm quite happy with that part. It's good. Um, but it has got a bit of a brim on the edge just here where it's raised up a little bit where it's not quite stuck to the print bed properly uh, which is okay because it's going to be out of sight you won't be able to see that so I can use that part but then the, th the thing that goes on the inside this one looks okay on that side but if you look at the, the sides or at the back of it it's all messed up, it's all wrong um, and this is partly because of the software and partly because of um, the way I printed. I need to rest my arm. <laughs> uh, the way I'm printing stuff. So uh, I'm using a program called Cura, which is free. It comes with the printer, which is fine. Here's like the eyepiece. Uh, this is the hollow projector. And the quality of it is okay, except when it gets the fine details. If you have a look at the fine detail on the end of there, it's just not quite right. Um, so what I've decided to do with the first lot of Patreon money is buy a new bit of software for printing these parts out. It's called Simplified 3D and uh, it's just so good. I've got some more parts to show you downstairs um, so you get an idea of the difference between Cura, the free stuff that you get with um, the printer, or the Simplified 3D which I bought. By the way it was $149, it was a lot of money. Um, but I think it's going to be worth it. For what we're going to be doing for this project, I think the cost is completely worth it. So, let's go and have a look at the print then. Okay guys, so we're in my kitchen, um, and this is the underneath my stairs. It doesn't look too great, there's some horrible wallpaper and stuff, but I just used it as storage for where you put your washing, the hoover, stuff like that. Um, but there's loads of room under the stairs, so I've shoved all that under the stairs, out of the way, and I had this big gap. Um, so I've, like I said, I've utilised it, so let's have a look. So here we go. Um, this was one of the tables that I've just been telling you about. And I've just bolted it onto here with a bit of wood underneath. So there you go, screwed some wood to the wall and at the back over there. And uh, basically just, just cut a bit of spare wood and screwed it in. Yeah, all it needs to do is hold the weight of the printer. So we've got uh, the power in here. And I've got this thing that's been sent to me uh, just the other day. It's called the Element, and basically what it lets me do is wirelessly connect to the printer and print remotely, which is going to be really cool. So, printer's just going to sit in there like that, out of the way, and I've got um, you know all the PLEs now up in here, so uh, I put a shelf up for it. And there's all the PLA, and there's a, the Element, and some of the print stuff that I've been doing. Uh, you've seen all these before, but these. These are what I've been working on at the moment. And these are basically um, coins that I wanted to send to people who are 
patrons. So if you're a patron and um, you're at a certain level, then I will send one of these to you. So this is the first one I did. Uh, I mean, it's okay. I did that with Cura. But then once I got the new software, I changed it to these. So uh, let's have a look. I'm trying to figure out which one's the first one. Oh, this is the first one I did as a test. And um, just waiting for that focus. It's not the best one. It's a bit rough, but then I, you know, I changed the settings and upped the quality. Uh, so it does need a bit of shave because that's where it's stuck to the print bed. Like you know, like that, basically upside down. And um, so I need to just clean that up. But I, I'll send you one of these. And it basically, it's got the patron logo on the back, and it says thanks. It's not focusing. My phone is not focusing whatsoever. Come on, focus. Focus. There we go, check it out, there we go. So it says thanks, and on that side you got the DC, so I'll clean that bit off the end. That's just where it was stuck to the, the print bed. So if you're a patron, um, I think it's $20 plus, I might change it to $10 plus, um, and I'll send you one of those. Yeah, so that's cool. That's what I've been working on. Um, that's what I've been testing the new software with, basically. So I've got to the point now of using that software that I'm really happy with it. Um, so, and I've got the print dent is all sorted um, and I think I'm ready to reprint those parts that I've just been showing you because I printed those with Cura uh, and like I said the quality is just not quite right for what I want um, so I'm going to do those all again and then I'll get into doing the big parts which is really basically I, I feel the start of the major part of the project. All these little bits are all like me testing the software, testing, figuring out how to actually print because obviously I've never done any of this before. Um, so yeah, exciting times. And now that I've got this, uh, the print done, I can basically leave it going constantly because uh, it won't interrupt anything uh, that I'm doing otherwise, you know, like reviews and all that sort of stuff. So pretty cool. Um, huge shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me on this. Um, uh, without you guys, I won't be able to afford to do the things that I'm doing. So, you know, huge shout out to you guys, big thanks. Um, if you'd like to become a patron, there's a link in the description. And um, there's loads of different reward levels and all that sort of business. And I update it with information on what I'm up to um, as regularly as I can do. And there's going to be vlogs and all that sort of usual, usual stuff. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you all in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye.